What's up guys, it's Friday, so you know what time it is. It's time for What The Fitness. But first, slap that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment for the algorithm. This week, I've got a Tom Bailu, Bill Yu, I always pronounce his name wrong, I think, interview. This is hard for me because I want to like Tom because he was involved in Quest Nutrition, who was always very supportive towards me. But man, he has had some really horrible people on his show with regards to nutrition advice. Let's see, uh, the title is, This Will Make You Fat. People know that salt's associated with blood pressure and uh, heart trouble, but no one really had linked salt with obesity in the common literature, you know? And so it seemed kind of odd. How would salt, which has no calories, increase your risk for getting fat? Oh, well, I know, I know. When we put animals on salt, they became hungry, they lost their control of appetite, they started gaining weight, um, and they became diabetic and they had fatty liver. Off of salt. Off of salt, just increasing salt. Turns out that a lot of people who are obese are not just eating bad diets like sugar, they're eating a lot of salt. And, uh, and the salt is activating this pathway to make sugar, to make fructose, and to metabolize fructose. So you, now we, we know that high glycemic carbs can do it, and we know that salty foods can do it. He, he left out one key piece of information there. Oh, by the way, the study in rats, just, you know, thought I'd point that back out, but left out one key piece of information. They gained weight because they ate more, because salt makes stuff more palatable. Do you know what one of the most satiating foods is? A plain white baked potato. It consistently scores one of the highest, if not the highest, on the satiety index. But if you put butter on it and salt, and now it becomes very palatable. Why do people who eat more salt have a higher risk of obesity. People who eat more salt eat more processed food. Processed food is more calorie dense. I know we're like trying to do all this free to like show how it's not, cal like he was talking about fructose, like salt activating a fructose pathway. Bro, we've had studies where we fed people 150 grams of pure fructose per day, but they controlled calories and they didn't get fat. Amazing. And their liver didn't get fat either. Amazing. Gee, how could that happen? Oh, I know because energy balance matters. So I'm not saying that you should salt the crap out of everything. I think that this is a very nuanced debate here because there is some evidence that adding salt to your food makes it more palatable. I mean, there's a reason people add salt to stuff. It gives it a nice flavor. So yes, if sodium is making food more palatable, then it might make sense to restrict sodium a little bit. But if you're eating a mostly unprocessed food diet, rich in fibrous foods, you're probably not getting that much sodium anyway. Even if you take a bunch of broccoli and dump salt all over it, it's not like suddenly gonna become hyper palatable. It's not like people are binge eating salted broccoli. This is just another example of people trying to get away from energy balance for the reason that people do not like personal accountability. They don't like to hear the following words. Obesity is caused by overeating. That sounds very attacking for people. Just like saying being broke is caused by overspending. Well, I'm not saying that somebody who overeats is necessarily a glutton. I mean, I feel like I have this conversation every week. But if you have a low energy expenditure, overeating for you may only be 2,200 calories a day. That's not a gluttonous intake. But if your energy expenditure is low, it doesn't change the fact that it's still overeating for your particular daily energy expenditure. But apparently that language is so triggering now that we can't actually talk about data. We have to talk about feelings and we have to come up with scapegoats like salt, sugar, processed foods, seed oils, everything under the sun to explain why there's absolutely no personal responsibility and that calories don't matter so that we can all live in la la land and fly on unicorns. Well, sorry kitties, data is more important than your feelings. And the fact that even educated individuals fall for this crap is completely mind blowing. The only salt you really need to worry about is how salty I am from watching this video. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Catch you next week.